I'm Hillary Arthur from ArthurAndDaughters.com, and I'm here in the ArthurAndDaughters.com studio to talk to you about the best way to store your handbags. So when you buy a new handbag, many designers will graciously give you a dust cloth to store your bag in. Now the only problem with storing your bag inside its dust cloth is that oftentimes it's out of sight and out of mind, and you may not end up using it quite as often as you would otherwise. So I recommend two ways to store your handbag so that you won't forget what you have in your handbag wardrobe. So one of the first things that I like to do is to use these wonderful cloth cubes that are typically used inside bookshelves for uh, organizing and for storage, but I like to use them in the top of my closet to create these little handbag caves. You can stow multiple bags inside each cubicle, or you can use them one at a time depending on the bag size. Now, if you don't have a lot of room at the top, on the top shelf of your closet, you may still like to store your handbags in another location in their dust cloth, but you still don't want to forget what you have in your handbag wardrobe. Another great way uh, to create a reference is by using a simple cork board or poster board to create a reference board of all of the bags that you have. I like to either use um, stock photography from handbag designers websites to print out or tear from a magazine and show the bag that I have on the board. Or you can take photographs of your actual bags and also print them out and put them on the board. I like to hang this on the inside of my closet so that I have an easy reference of all of the bags that I have in my wardrobe. And as I'm getting dressed, I can coordinate what bags I have with what I'd like to wear that day. I'm Hilary Arthur from ArthurAndDaughters.com and that is how best to store a handbag.